Would you like to be able to place newly provisioned or cloned database servers into Prism Central categories? Well, with Nutanix Era and Nutanix Crossplay, we're going to show you how you can do that. Welcome to Tech Bytes. My name is David Teague, Technical Marketing Engineer at Nutanix. And in a previous video, I created the security policy in Nutanix Flow to limit access to database servers. Now we're going to streamline the process to add database servers to that policy. Once we're logged into Prism Central, we're going to go to Operations and choose Playbooks. Nutanix Crossplay is part of the Prism Central Pro license and is also active for 60 days after you install Prism Central for the first time. We're going to import a custom playbook. This playbook and the scripts we use in this video will be available on the Nutanix.dev site. You can create a playbook inside of Crossplay that will change a category of a VM, however you will need to know the UUID. The playbook we are importing will discover the UUID for us. Once the playbook is imported, we will select it and choose Update. We will then copy the webhook ID from the webhook section of the playbook. Then on the left, we're going to click on the first REST API section and set the username and password that has administrative right. And then we're also going to do the same on the second REST API section. After you set the password on the second REST API section, you will need to click into the Request Body section and change the webhook ID to the one that you copied earlier. Now on the left, we're going to choose Add to Category and choose the category that we're going to use. We're going to choose the App Type Microsoft SQL Server category. If you watched my previous video on using Nutanix Flow to limit access to your SQL servers, this is the category that has a Flow security policy tied to it. You can watch the video by clicking the link shown in the upper right or in the comment section. Now that we've made our changes, we're going to save and enable the playbook. You can also rename it here if you would like. If you were doing this for Oracle databases, you could use the app type Oracle category. As you can see here, I have two playbooks set up, one for Oracle and one for Microsoft SQL Server. Now let's take a look at the scripts I've created to use these automation playbooks. Era can call these scripts during provisioning a new server or cloning an existing one. For Windows, Era uses PowerShell scripts, and for Linux-based database engines like Oracle, PostgreSQL, and MongoDB, it will use Python. This is the update category PowerShell and Python scripts. I've used variables, so I just need to specify the username, password, Prism Central address, and the webhook ID at the top of the script. These scripts will be on the Nutanix.dev site, however they are unsupported by Nutanix. Okay, now that we have created the scripts, let's head over to Era and see how we can use them. First you need to place the script on an existing server that is managed by ERA. You will then need to create a software profile. Give that profile a name and specify the cluster you want the profile to live on. You will then choose the server that has the script as the source for the software profile. Because the script was renamed on the source server, I left a note for future reference. Once the profile is created, you will need to publish it so other people can use the profile. You can see the note I added carries over when you publish the profile. With the new software profile created and published, we can use that to provision a new server. Cloning also provides the option to run scripts, so if you needed to set a specific Prism Central category, you could place the script on a source server. On the first provisioning screen, we will give our server a name, dir sqlsec wt one We will then choose the cluster, and then the SQL 2019 Secure Software Profile, as that is the one that has the script. We will complete this page by selecting Compute Profile, Network Profile, and set the server admin password. Then select a server collation and a DB instance parameter profile, then choose Next. On the next screen, we will name our database and select a database parameter profile. Then we will click the Pre Post Commands dropdown and put the path to our script that will set the categories in Prism Central. Then we will click Next and select an SLA, then click on Provision to finish and start the provisioning. While the database is provisioning, Let's look at the security policy I created in Prism Central in the previous video. From the dropdown, we will go to Network and Security, then Security Policies. We are going to choose the SQL DB ISO policy, and on the next screen, you will see that only one VM is in the app type Microsoft SQL Server category. When the provisioning is complete, we should see the Durham SQL SEC WT01 server in this category as well. Back in ERA, it looks like the provisioning took about 23 minutes and was successful. You can see the steps ERA takes to provision database servers, including the execute post create script step. If we go back to Prism Central and then head into the playbook section, if we click on the playbook that was used and choose the play sections across the top, you can see that the play ran successfully. This is also a good place to troubleshoot if the playbook did not run correctly. Now, if we head into security policies, we can choose our security policy that the category we chose in our playbook is part of, 
and you can see that the server we specified during provisioning has successfully been added to the category, which means the security policy is applied to this server. By doing some steps ahead of time, we can use Nutanix Crossplay and Nutanix Era to maintain consistency when deploying or cloning new database servers. This can be vitally important if your environment is required to meet certain security and compliance policies. This is part two of the solution series videos. You can watch part one by clicking the link shown here. You can learn more about Nutanix Era by clicking on the playlist link that is also shown here. If you want to make sure you do not miss out on learning more about Nutanix, click the subscribe button below.